I normally end every episode by saying the phrase, keep on hacking. 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 Oh yeah, and keep on hacking. Today, I wanna show you why. Here on the channel, and also on my podcast, and again in my notes and in my lectures, and just about every time I communicate with someone, I'm always sharing this message of just keep on going. Don't stop. Just don't listen to that little voice in the back of your head that says you're not good enough, or it's just too hard, or you're not gonna make it, or whatever. And I tell you guys all the time that you just need to put in the hours. Just, just do the work and commit yourselves, and one way or another, it will all work out. And so today, I wanna kind of put myself out there as an example to show you exactly how this works. I scraped together a lot of my old work and I'm going to show you my embarrassing past. And I wanna show this to you to prove that not everyone springs forth from their father's loins like fully formed with a, with a complete creative perspective. Now I also want to admit at the top of this episode that I don't think that I have everything figured out and that I also start every project with the same fear and loathing as that's that first project that I ever started. And I also think, you know, that's okay. You know, people like us who are paid to be creative people, this is our burden really. And I carry it gladly because the rewards definitely outset the pains. All right, enough talk. Uh, I'm about to show you the earliest version of my website that I could find. Okay, there were earlier versions and maybe even better versions, but this is the earliest one that I could find. So we're just gonna call this one version number one. Um, and I think this is probably the earliest version when I was serious about trying to gain clients. And I don't really have much to show for this. A lot of these links are broken and the content is broken, but the thing to recognize about this design, let me show you this. Uh, it was tables. Look at this. This uh, this layout is tables. It was basically slices taken, you know, from Photoshop, and the portfolio linked to like some Flash plugin or something. The resume was just a PDF, and the contact was was an email. This this was like my first like trying like look at this like person sitting here on the edge. I have no idea what was going on. These are all images. These these are not even words. But this is before CSS fonts were a thing at all. So images as type. We're, we're pretty common, but look at the R. I mean, this is this is Arial, I think. <laughs> no, that's not Arial. These are Arial, and then this looks like um, Myriad. Anyway, this is pathetic and ugly, and uh, this won me zero clients, just to be clear. Zero clients saw this and thought, I wanna hire this guy. I don't know what I was thinking. The next one is more of a conceptual thing. Now, this is this is really, really uh, stylized, you know? Travis is like all, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think actually this was inspired by like uh, an Urban Outfitters catalog that I got in the mail once. I was like, oh man, that's amazing. But yeah, like, like this is the first time that I used um, CSS uh, layout. So uh, everything is kind of like positioned, like everything is positioned absolute. And I, I treated it kind of like a Photoshop layout, right? Where like, if it's if it's a box, it's positioned absolute and it's like floating in the air somewhere. Like nothing is kind of fluid or definitely not responsive. Actually back when this was created, what is, the dates are like 2008, 2007, this was like responsive design wasn't even a consideration back then. I don't think, I don't, when was the first smartphone after this, I'm sure. So there's a blog, portfolio, and about, and goodies. Goodies were like, I don't know, does this even work? Oh my gosh, it works. Free junk for everyone, tell your mom. <laughs> like I made like um, wallpapers and stuff. Does the download doesn't work? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's just continue on. This is just so bad. I think this was even powered by Blogger from, uh, from Google. Remember blogger.com? Uh, this one had huge load times, like it had a problem because it was just so slow to load because the internet was slower back then. And this one also won me zero clients. So let's go to the next one. How many clients do you think this one awarded me? That's right, zero. It's a left aligned kind of like crazy, this is back in the day when like flourishes and 
that kind of crazy stuff was all in style. Um, I can't even read this quotation. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. Oh, that's nice. Good. What's up, losers? My name is Travis. <laughs> so how many? Yeah, how many clients bought that? Uh, tweet, tweet. What the? <laughs> okay. Um, so this one was like obviously a holding page. There's not a lot of content here. Uh, it's not like meant to be like showing off any portfolio pieces. Uh, it's. I don't think it was even up very long. I think I put it up while I was designing in a new style. Um, and this one also. It won me zero clients. But this was a precursor to the next one, which was this one, which actually for me was quite successful. This one did win me three or four clients and one of those clients rolled into a full-time job that I was able to kind of stay with for maybe like three or so years. And that was at my first marketing agency and kind of like launched my career as a professional. Those other ones I did freelance every now and then, but it was never because of the website. It was because I knew somebody or, you know, like it's just horrible. But, um, this one is, is funny too, because it's just like that same style of, um, you know, unnecessary flourishes everywhere and like overly designed graphics and stuff. And like everything is in a, oh, it still works in a pop out here. Uh, I think this one's called Lightbox. It's like a jQuery plugin. I, I had no idea how to do jQuery. Everything, even like this scroller that I had right here, was like like a, a plugin that I chopped up and tried to make work as 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 well as possible. And this one right here, what is this this button that goes to the next? These are these these graphics for these buttons are literally stolen from Apple.com, I believe, back in the day. I think I screenshotted those buttons. Uh, this one is copyright 2008. So again, we're going back quite a while ago, but this one, yeah, this one, uh, with, it, ha it had some good copywriting on it, I think. Um, and people commented on that and I was, I was hired because, because of this. So this one was, this one is important to me because of that. I don't think it's necessarily good. Uh, it's definitely not responsive, but there we are. The next version is is an interesting one. This is the first version of an actual blog. So this is the first time I started creating serial content. And I don't actually have the content. This is just something I uploaded into the template yesterday when I was preparing for this video. And I'm really sad about that. So I don't have the content anymore, but um, I do have the, the, these are built on WordPress. So I do have the WordPress templates. So this is a WordPress template. And actually this was during a time in my life where I was considering branching off my career away from design. And I was considering becoming a photographer. And so I made a, a, a design for this page that was basically centered around photography. And I tried to post a daily photo and I did it for like a year or two. Um, and the photo would go right here, and then there would be an explanation right here. And then these ones, there would actually be photos here on the right, too. And, and this is like a, a three-column grid. Um, and it had, you know, it, has, it was good. It had comments and everything. Uh, it had, does this about page work? Oh, the about page works. Okay. About myself. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so this one this one lasted a while, but it went through iterations, and I don't have the content of of the sites, but I do have um, the uh, the templates, right? Because it was a template, so I would make a new template every time I updated the version. So this one was like a photo journal template. This one is what I called Haas, um, and let's see if this updates. Okay, so it. This is the about page. Nothing there. Okay, so this one is a little bit more um, focused on the content being streamlined. So it removed the links to other ones and then we moved to a paginated design and also kind of like had this, this bar. And at, at this one here, the reason why this one is a little bit different is because I tried to make less of a photo, uh, a photo journal kind of one. And I tried to make it into an expressive arts one. And I, and I can't show you because I didn't have any of those specific posts, but there were posts where I would go in and, and wouldn't put a photo, but I would make like a more 
design centered post where it would be full width and um, be like more individually art directed, right? And this was like the first time I would do that, but I would only do that kind of special post every now and then. I really started enjoying the idea of making individually designed posts. And so the next um, design that I made or the next iteration really, uh, really catered to that a lot. And if I go back in here and refresh, okay. Oh, the header's broken, but it used to have this cool, oh, it still does. So like this pull down profile. So I got rid of the about page, made a profile that just kind of popped down and these lines should have connected here. I don't know why the, the it's broken, but, and then there was like a, a slider here. So it was like, you could get around everything a little bit more and like they would like pop up and I don't know. There's a lot of different things about it, but, but essentially this area right here was up for grabs and I could make designs that would spread the whole width and they were like special articles and different things. And that kind of like set the tone for the next generation of, of what, of what the, um, website was. And if I go to the Wayback machine, I can find a version of that was archived of that, of the expressive articles. Now by this time, which is, I don't know the date of this one. Uh, but by this time, the articles were like the main thing. And so like when you would go to the website, the articles would be the, like the most recent article would be the only one showing. And then you, the only way to navigate would be by using these buttons here to go back and front forth. But I would create like these huge like things, and this is all live text and, you know, using, uh, I think there's, I don't think this is HTML text. I think this is Kufon or something like that. And I was like experimenting with JavaScript being able to pull things around and reorder them and stuff like that. And like I would make um, make everything myself. I wouldn't use plugins or anything because I wanted to learn how to do it. So the best way to learn how to do something is just to struggle through it. So uh, so these things like Surf Day and then there's their other ones here, Web Archive. A lot of these articles are actually um, on, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at 2011 right here, August 2011. And when the CSS is broken. Anyway, let's move on. So uh, a lot of those articles I, I packaged up and took with me to the next version, which, which is actually similar to the version that I just replaced recently. So I'm showing you this on Behance, which is like a documentation of the old design is not the actual design. So all of these articles got their individual cards right here. So, um, and then you would like kind of like hover over the card and it would slide up and show you the name of it and everything like that. But here you can see there's an animated GIF of like scrolling through the cards. It was kind of like a Pinterest board style of, of these covers, you know. And um, I really focused a lot on showing the, showing all the articles as an index. And that way, instead of showing them, because the problem was when it was like just one article for the whole page, that uh, people would come and they'd be like, oh, this is just one thing and they would never go back or forth. And so I wanted to show, yes, there's a lot of stuff to see here. And so I made this more of like a, more of like an index instead of just like having one article at a time. And that worked really well. And I also uh, started showing off my work in terms of uh, design por portfolio. Um, and that, that worked well. This website here was really good to me. It, it, it enabled me to find a lot of, a lot of clients and a lot of work. And uh, here's my about page. Oh, Travis had hair back then. Mm, miss it. But these articles here um, were individually designed and they, uh, they're art directed and I had to like struggle through the HTML and CSS and JavaScript teaching myself along the way. Like this, like everything I teach you guys in DevTips, I kind of learned by just forcing myself to get through all of these weird ideas. Like I had, I just have this like weird idea and like, how do I build this? Just experiment, experiment, struggle, struggle, kick the wall, nothing works. All right. And then finally it works and you have that moment, right? This caused so much growth for me. This is like the most important website that I've ever built is that is this one because it had so much um, growth for me. And now the, you, you can't see it here in this Behance uh, presentation, but there was a few versions of this one as well. And the first one, the first one was really like, uh, like 
textured, you know, like it used like a lot of like textures and stuff. And then it, it kind of like over time uh, became a little bit more flat in, in terms of design style. But, but the overall structure really hadn't changed for about three years. And then uh, we have what we did recently here. Uh, this website looks so weird when it's big like that. <laughs> Uh, this website here is uh, what's currently live on the on the internet, and uh, we did this website together. And this series is the big series that we did this year. Uh, we spent 12 hours designing and coding this from the ground up, and I showed you guys every step of the way. So you should probably be intimately familiar with this design if you have seen that series. But uh, but this design has been really, really uh, effective. I'm very happy with this one. It has a, a really cool modular design, so if I don't do YouTube anymore, I'll just take this section out and the whole design doesn't need to be rethought. Uh, if I want to add in something else, I can just pop it right in line anywhere that I want and it, and it works. It's really good. I'm still working on a few bugs. For example, for some reason the font is not coming through right now. I don't know why. I'm still working on a few bugs, but that's all I'm going to share right now. You should go to the website, travisnielsen.com, and sign up for the email notes and the podcasts, which are awesome. So thanks for sitting through this. I hope it was fun for you. It was fun for me in digging up these old artifacts. But the biggest lesson, really, that I want to impart to you guys is that, you know, things just take time. This takes time. I get emails all the time. People ask me what they can do to just get better, faster, uh, you know, what videos they should watch, what articles they should read, books. Um, but in my opinion, there are no shortcuts. There is only hard work, and it takes time. The author and researcher Malcolm Gladwell says that you need 10,000 hours before you're good at really anything. Now, if you work about 40 hours a week, every week, that's gonna take you about five years to do. I'm just saying that if you're discouraged because your design or code skills are not where you want them to be, take heart. That's a good thing because now you know where you need to be. Imagine if you sucked and didn't even know it. That would be worse. Just keep working and never be satisfied and do the work today that you want to be paid to do tomorrow. Don't waste your time trying to be a a great photographer if you want to be a professional musician. You only have so much time in the day and you need those 10,000 hours to be good at any one thing. So focus on that one thing and start today. As I said, this is the last video of the year. Thank you so much for making 2015 a magical experience for me. There's been difficult moments and more than once I've considered giving up on dev tips and just crawling under a warm blanket and never coming out. But you know, then I get that one email, someone from a land far away explaining to me how dev tips has helped them in their life. And that really just like inspires me to keep going. So literally, thank you. This is for you and inspired by you and people like you. And this is supported by patrons, these people. These patrons are the awesome people who are donating a sum of their choosing for every video that gets made. Now, patrons do receive a few perks, but mostly they do this for you, the people who benefit the most. Okay, Dev Tipsters, my name is Travis. This is Dev Tips signing off for the last time in 2015. Keep on hacking.